Hi Primary 4A, hope everyone's alright. Um, don't worry about the pink hair, it'll be gone by the time I see you. It's just temporary. But I was thinking that I was reading a bedtime story to my own children tonight and it reminded me that it was the first story that we ever read together as a class. So I felt like reading it to you again. I hope that's okay. And I'm sure you remember it. It is Rhino, What Rhino? There once was a rhino who lived in the zoo. He was lonely and bored. He had nothing to do. So early one morning, he slipped through the bars and tiptoed away from the slumbering guards. He ran till he reached a small farm by a lake, then heard a great rumble which made the ground shake. It sounds like my tummy wants something to eat. Ah, look, a plum pie. What a wonderful treat. Who ate my lunch? Mr Potts shouted out, and he turned to a pig with a ring in his snout. My dinner has vanished, my pudding's gone too. No one else has come by, so it must have been you. Wasn't though, was it? It's not me, oinked the pig as he nosed at the ground. That rhino just took it while you weren't around. Rhino? What rhino? That cannot be true. There's only one rhino, and he's in the zoo. Not is he? Away strolled the rhino, now very well fed. That pie was delicious and so was that bread. Now all I need is an outfit to wear. I'll just borrow a shirt from that line over there. Look at my clothes, Aunt Anne cried in alarm. And she glared at a cow walking down to the farm. My tops are in tatters. Those knickers were new. No one else has come by, so it must have been you. It's not me, mooed the cow with a flick of her ear. That rhino came creeping while you were not near. Rhino? What rhino? That cannot be true. There's only one rhino and he's in the zoo. Aunt Anne looked around, but the rhino had gone. He felt so much smarter with proper clothes on. Now all I need is a place for the night. I'll sleep in this tree house. I'm sure it's all right. Mm-mm. Who wrecked my den? Little Emily squealed, and she spotted a sheep trotting down through the field. My toys have been trampled. That bike was brand new. No one else has come by, so it must have been you. It's not me, bade the sheep sitting down on a stool. That rhino crept up there while you were at school. Rhino, what rhino? That cannot be true. There's only one rhino, and he's in the zoo. That night, while the rhino was curled up in bed, the animals met at the back of the shed. That rhino is causing such trouble, mood cow. Let's teach him a lesson. This has to stop now. Rhino, now listen, it's time to confess. You should be ashamed making all of this mess. You've upset the people and caused such a fuss. They're all hopping mad and they're all blaming us. You can't go on helping yourself all day long. Stealing is bad. It's not fair and it's wrong. You'll have to admit it. You know what to do. Apologise now or go back to the zoo. I beg you, Will Drino, don't send me away. It's no fun being locked in that cage every day. I'll write them all letters and say it was me. I'll stop being greedy and selfish. You'll see. Now the rhino works hard for his food in his bed. He no longer steals lunches, but cooks them instead. He says, please and thank you. And how do you do? And he never, no never, went back to the zoo. So just like all of us, that rhino made a mistake. But he changed his ways and that's the important thing. So it was really nice talking to you. I hope everyone's okay and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, bye.